Uh, the gentleman is recognized. I thank my uh, dear friend, uh, Mrs. Ross Layton, and also my friend, uh, Mr. Engel, for their help in getting this resolution to the floor and their strong support of this important resolution. I take this opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to uh, congratulate the United Kingdom's new Prime Minister, David Cameron, as he, as head of the Conservative Party, forms a new government with the Liberal Democrats. We wish him and all of the British people all the best. It's important that we in Congress take the time to recognize that great friend and ally of the United States. It is important that we recognize the special friendship and all that the United Kingdom has done to stand with the United States. This resolution recognizes the special relationship between the United Kingdom and the United States. It points out the strong influence that English philosophers and economists, jurists, and other leaders have had on American political thought, on the United States legal system, and on our government. This strong, special relationship, founded on our shared history, continues into the modern day. The United Kingdom has repeatedly demonstrated the strength of, of its camaraderie with the United States. Within the last decade, the United Kingdom joined forces with us against the Taliban as part of Operation Enduring Freedom, and UK soldiers have fought alongside American soldiers in Iraq. The United Kingdom has suffered tragic loss of life as a result. As of March, 273 UK military and civilian personnel have given their lives in Afghanistan, and 179 have given the last full measure of devotion in Iraq. I am very proud, Mr. Speaker, to have introduced this resolution highlighting the strong ties that bind our countries together. The United Kingdom is a great friend and ally of the United States. Reflecting on our relationship, Winston Churchill said, in this century of storm and tragedy, I contemplate with high satisfaction the constant factor of the interwoven and upward progress of our peoples. Our comradeship and our brotherhood in war were unexampled. We stood together, and because of that fact, the free world now stands. Nor has our partnership any exclusive nature. The Atlantic community is a dream that can well be fulfilled to the detriment of none and to the enduring benefit and honor of the great democracies. During the most trying times in the history of the United States, we have had no truer friend than the United Kingdom. I sincerely hope that our futures will continue to reflect our histories, deepen our friendship, and continually refresh our commitment to the shared values of the rule of law and democratic principles. I urge all of my colleagues to support this important and I believe timely resolution. And I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back.